Is it error now? No. no. Sir. Why? Because it is a global, global variable. Understood? Yes. Sir. So like these questions also into my task. So yes, that sir. was a rapid fire round which we did. Okay. So it's good. Great. Good hard work you are doing. Great. Okay. Something. Then I can see and it connects to me and I'll ask that question. It's really yes. easy for you also, right? Yes. Now you didn't write any core Java. So I can jump anywhere now. And you close doors from inside and never open for a year. Hmm. Do you think it's useful? No. Hello everyone, this is Kiran here. Today I am going to take interview for Rajendra. He is Rajendra Deshmukh from Ahmednagar. And we will see like uh, what he learned in his curriculum and then how he studied. And as per him, he is good in the core Java and SQL also. Yeah, and advanced Java, some of the things he has already uh, demonstrated in his project like Spring Boot, Hibernate and many more things. So we will be going through every technology. Uh, I have got his resume also to look into and then I will be starting my interview for Core Java, then SQL, HTML you know, yes, HTML, sir. CSS and then a little bit advanced Java. So this is a step by step uh, evolution for him and uh, let's see how you, <coughs> uh, you all need to react on every question like write down in the comments if you are knowing the answer uh, instead of judging Rajendra you should be judging me, me means Kiran, how you need to judge what question I am asking and then start judging yourself whether you will able to answer it or not. So welcome Rajendra. Yes sir. Yeah, yes. welcome to this interview. Yes sir. Which is getting uh, published on the YouTube also. Okay. And first of all, I really like to appreciate you that you shown daring that confidence that I want to go on this platform, which is public platform. Okay. So many people even not have that, uh, what will say, courage to go here. Okay, so I am going through your Rajendra Deshmukh. I am going through your resume. So I see, see, lot of blank spaces there. Okay. Yes, sir. So first of all, try to fill it with something. There are many characteristics in you. Okay, you need to elaborate. Those. Okay, don't think like you should be getting template all, always from the LinkedIn. Okay, you can write your own things. Also. Yes, sir. Yeah, no problem. Then you wrote a project also. That is employee management system you have done? Yes, sir. Yeah, but what I will suggest you, and that is for each and every audience which uh, they are looking at or uh, this interview, there should be roles and responsibilities as well. Okay. Always add this point roles and responsibilities. Like what role you have done in that project? What were your responsibilities? Is that? Yes. Then you have GitHub link also, right? Yes, sir. So, yeah. So, will you be able to open that letter in your, our interview? Uh, yes, sir. Possible? Yes, sir. Yes, okay. Sir. Then you have done BBA, right? Yes, sir. BBA. Yeah. So anyway, this was your resume. So let's start. Can you tell me about yourself? Hello, sir. Uh, my name is Rajendra Deshmukh. I am from Mungi, uh, Shevga District, Ahmednagar. I have recently completed my graduation in uh, BBSA in New York's Commerce and Science College, Shevga. And uh, my knowledge in uh, front end in HTML, CSS, uh, JavaScript, and uh, in back end. Uh, in C, C++, Java, uh, in advance, uh, JDBC, Hibernate, uh, Spring Boot also is there, uh, but uh, little okay. except all about that. So also, I have created a uh, project uh, which is an employee management system, uh, which uh, I have uh, used there uh, uh, at front end Angular and, uh, and back end. I use uh, Java, uh, Spring Boot. Uh, in that project, we give uh, information from employee and uh, we store at the back end in our database. Okay, great. Great. So, you have done BBA CA. Yes, that sir. That is BBA. Bachelor of Business Administration yes, in Computer Application. Computer Application. Yeah, good. So, I am hearing this first time. Okay. Yes, so, I don't know. Anyway, so, which uh, subjects they cover in this BBA? Uh, they covering uh, in first year, uh, principle of management, uh, DBMS, C, uh, like uh, starting a simple uh, uh, languages uh, in mm -hmm. first year. Uh, in second year, there was a DS, PHP, advanced PHP, C++. Mm -hmm. Also, there was a financial financial related subject like a, like a, there was a 
financial management and uh, okay so computer subjects were there uh, where, where? so java was there right java was in uh, third year sir third year uh, java and advanced java and c c++ in first year uh, uh, c was in first year and c++ uh, was in, in second, second year. year and third year you have java, java. Yes. okay great okay so before start just i want to ask like how much you rate yourself in java uh, on the scale of 1 to 10 10 is highest one is lowest sir uh, i will Still about uh, seven. Seven, so more than five you are saying, right? Yes, yes sir. Great. Good, good. So let's start with uh, Java actually. Yes, sir. Yeah. So what is the difference between JavaScript and Java? So JavaScript is a scripting language. Uh, it is uh, used to add the functionality on the uh, front end page. Where the Java, Java is the object oriented programming language. Uh, which is used, uh, which having the frameworks uh, like a Spring Boot, uh, which uh, are the uh, API means uh, uh, Spring uh, Java is the object oriented programming language like that. Uh, Java we use the uh, for the uh, connect the Java application with the database. Like that. good. So you mean to say JavaScript cannot connect with the database? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Which is at the front end. Yeah, which is at the front end to add the functionality over the web pages. And Java is a programming language, right? Java is a programming. What language. is the difference you see, like in programming language and scripting language? Yes. Any difference? Ah, uh, sir, uh, difference is like that. Uh, Oops concept is there in programming language, whereas uh, in uh, scripting language there is no concept. And uh, scripting languages are the open source languages where the programming language uh, like java is uh, not open source language we can't uh, access the code of the java from any application like that okay okay addition to that i would say scripting language uh, doesn't need a compiler it's uh, an interpreted language inter there are programming language. uh, languages are requiring a compiler and all okay Compl so for big applications we can use programming whereas for smaller scale applications we can use the scripting language okay scripting language. Yeah, great. Then uh, my question is, why you need a database? So database, we need uh, for the store the data uh, in the form of table. We can why can't form. you use Excel sheets? Uh, yes, in Excel also you can yeah. store data, right? So uh, in Excel we can we can store data, but uh, but in database we can connect the database with the applications. Mm -hmm. Then we need database. Okay, so database. It is easy to integrate with the application you need to see ah, than the Excel sheet. Ah, then the Excel sheet. Okay, okay. So you know C, C++ and Java also. Yes, sir. Right. What difference you observe in three languages? Ah, yes, sir. Sir, C is the basic language of all the languages. Uh, and C is procedure-oriented uh, programming language, which is uh, totally depend on the functions. Like, and uh, it follows uh, top-bottom approach. Top to bottom approach. Top to bottom approach, and uh, in C, C++ there is uh, procedural plus object oriented programming language. Uh, but uh, there are some drawbacks uh, in C++, and uh, sir, uh, also uh, C++ is not more secure for, for the enterprise application. Where Java is the more secure for the enterprise application. Java is also object oriented programming language. What does it mean by enterprise applications? Uh, enterprise application uh, means the application like a banking application, uh, like a, having the limited users. Okay. Uh, so banking applications, big applications, the yes, applications sir. which talk with many other applications. Okay. Yes, sir. That is yes, called sir. as enterprise application. Yeah. Great. 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 Okay. So let me ask some technical things about the core Java. Okay. Yes, sir. You know object class? Uh, yes sir, I know object class. What's the use of that class? Sir, so actually the object class is a root class which is a parent class of all the classes and uh, object class having the methods uh, like a clone method, finalize method, also notify method, equals method is there. They are used to perform the operation. What is the written type of clone method? Uh, so written type of clone method is object sir. What is the written type of two string method? To string with it is also objects by strings string not object yeah great then notify notify all uh, yes sir uh, yeah, notify method we use in uh, thread class sir. yeah so what is the written type of it uh, written type of notify method notify method 
notify method actually used to notify the one thing yeah, what's the return type uh, yes sir uh, wide 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 yeah uh, hash code method you know hash code method yes sir yes sir where it is in object uh, in object what's the return type of it uh, ob uh, integer sir perfect perfect yeah so i understand that you read things in depth i think right yes sir yeah great then now it's a root class right root it has class. some methods it so my been. question again remains same like what's the use of this object class where you have used that yes, sir like uh, we use methods yeah methods where uh, like uh, we use a uh, hash code meter to get the hash code and uh, we use like that clone method to create the copy of the um, object uh, whereas okay. equals method which is uh, used to uh, check the reference of the object is it same or not also there is a finalize method finalize method is just uh, called before the uh, uh, garbage collector call so you mean to say object class has a method which are inherited into every class and ah, we can use anywhere we can use anywhere uh, there is no need to import it any example of inheritance in java which uh, is inbuilt means sir inbuilt means you are not doing that it is already there in inheritance inheritance uh, means sir uh, like a th in thread class plus uh, we implement uh, renewable interface yeah so where is the inheritance no sir there is no inheritance that you are creating right uh, that but already it's there mm -hmm. can you give me any example of super class and sub class which you know in java which is not Different. created by you uh -huh. but created by java people mm -hmm. Sir, uh, actually, I am not able to re remember that. You know string class? Yes, sir, I know string it's class. It's your yes. class or Java people class? Uh, Java people class. This Java company created it. Uh, right? yes, what is super class of string class? Uh, string class, super class is object. So that's a inheritance, right? Inheritance. You know it. Correct. You know, I know it well. Yeah, so just connect. connect. Okay. Yes, you know it. I'm <laughs> saying when you know, you should be able to connect us. Yes, sir. Because when question is asked, like any inbuilt inheritance, you know, you should say. Like super class is object and sub class is tree. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Early list. Mm, early right. List is it is sub class, right? Sub so it is inbuilt. Inbuilt. You have not created it. No. By default, it comes in Java, right? Yes, sir. Any methods of early list, you know? Early list, yes, sir. Uh, add method, uh, remove method, mm -hmm. add all method, replace method. That's all method of at least. Okay. What is the difference between add and add all method? And all uh, add method uh, use, uh, used to add the single element. In the array list, where the add all method is used to add the uh, another collection in that uh, array list. Yeah, collection into collection. Collection into. So what is different between collection and collections? The collection is the inter collection is the interface, and uh, collections is the class. Uh, collections uh, interface for the represents the uh, group of elements uh, which having the implemented uh, uh, interfaces like a. Uh, list, set, etc. And uh, collections having the uh, method for the perform the operation on the uh, collection, like a sorting method, uh, get max method, uh, reverse method is there. Yeah, so it's the utility methods. Utility method. So collections is utility a class, method, right? Yes, collection is a uh, interface. Perfect, perfect. You know any inbuilt interfaces in Java? So, like that collection is in building collection and yeah. again anything uh, collection renewable interface, sir. Renewable, great, or think of in collection framework any other interfaces there, mm -hmm. sir. List interface, set interface, uh, map interface is perfect, there. perfect, perfect, great. So, like <coughs> this was the, this was from the collection interface, yes, sir. What is the difference between abstract class and ordinary class? Uh, sir, abstract class, uh, which is uh, used to achieve the abstraction in Java. Uh, abstract uh, class, uh, there is the uh, there is no implementation of the method in abstract class. Uh, uh, methods are like public uh, abstract method, uh, and uh, in ordinary class, we can implement the methods. Is there difference? No other difference. Uh, Can we have a concrete method in abstract class? 
Yes, sir. We can have concrete methods. Only concrete methods? Uh, Only methods with body. Can we write in abstract class? We can write, sir, uh, concrete method in Pukka. abstract Yes, sir. Mix of both is also possible? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. If I keep abstract class empty, is it possible? Abstract class empty. No, sir. It will not possible. Not possible? Sir, uh, abstract class is a class which having the minimum one abstract method. Is there. Minimum one abstract method? Yes, sir. Putka. Yes, sir. Just now you said abstract class can have concrete methods also. Yes, sir. Can have concrete methods also. Only. Concrete means methods with body. Haan, sir. So, is it possible that abstract class will have only one method with body? Is it possible or not? Uh, it will, I think, not possible. Just now you said possible. That was correct. It is possible. Empty class also possible. Mix of both is also possible. Okay. There is no rule created by Java that it must have something called abstract methods. Yes. yes okay. Yes. Abstract class can be mix of both. That's great. Wonderful. Why to use abstraction actually? Sir, abstraction means the show the display the necessary things and uh, mm -hmm. hide the implementation mm -hmm. uh, like the real time example of abstraction uh, will be the atm machine sir uh, will uh, atm hide the all the uh, process and uh, why to hide for safety security yes sir for security and uh, we make the uh, pin in the atm private uh, that's private yes sir that is access specified. Access specified. Okay. What is protected access specifier in Java? So protected uh, specifier in Java is applicable for the variables, method, and uh, constructor to make the uh, protected. Uh, when we declare uh, uh, that uh, as a protected, we can access it in same packages, but also in another packages uh, when the methods are the uh, Inherited. Any protected inbuilt method you know in Java? Protected inbuilt method? Uh, no, sir. It's clone method. Clone method. Of object class. Clone method. Okay. Yes, so that is a protected method. Protected. Yeah. Uh, why to use private constructors? Private constructor. So when we use private constructor, uh, we are not able to create the object of that class. What's the use of it? It's a loss, right? Yes. Then so when you want to or not create the object of that class, then we use private. Why you want that? So you want it, right? Yes. Why? Sir. It's a loss for you, na? Yes. Sir. Simply people are not creating an object. Let's say you have a home and you close doors from inside and never open for a year. Mm. Do you think it's useful? No. <laughs> Unless people come say, or you go out of the home, then only it will be useful, right? Yes. So then why private? You are saying people will not be able to create an object. That's correct. Mm -hmm. But then why? Okay, let's say mm -hmm. people will not be able to create an object. Okay. Yes, sir. You have methods in that class. Okay. Yes, sir. Let's say you have methods. Yes, How people will call that methods? Sir, uh, firstly, we have to uh, make methods uh, static. Perfect. And, uh, we can call it by uh, class name. You have good knowledge. Okay. Yes, sir. Just need a little bit enhancements. Yes, Go sir. next level. Okay. So you have crossed one layer already. Yes. Okay. Because you can trigger. You have uh, that sense actually of a questions and answers. Okay. So that's great. Uh, no problem. Can we have any local variable as a final in Java? Uh, yes, sir. We can have local variable okay. as final. Yes, sir. Local variable as a static. Uh, Local variable as a setting. No, sir. No, sir. Local variable as a private. Uh, yes, sir. Local variable as a public. Uh, yes, sir. Public. Uh, no, sir. Private. Private also. No. Default. Default. Uh, no, sir. Protected. No. no. What access specifier should be there for the local variables? Uh, local variables are actually. Uh, are the variable in the body of the method, method. which is uh, only usable for the so that's it's a private block. for that method by private for you don't need to write something right you don't need to write anything uh, for it 
so is it possible that i am not initializing any global variable in java yes sir is it okay yes sir no problem no. why then what it will print let's say i have class a yes sir int x semicolon yes sir and somewhere i wrote sop x ha ah, sir what is going to sir, happen sir there is default value for int perfect and, uh, so in java global variables are initialized with the default value uh, let's default say local value. variable then what will happen uh, in case of local variable it will also print a default value uh, no sir no. it will print a black blank space it will give an error it will it give. is compulsory that you should be initializing local variables in java okay yes sir yes yeah great next is like uh, when you use return type for a method when you why do you use uh, return type so for the method uh, we use return type for the uh, return the uh, values like if we return why a, why to return something you are returning something yes, right sir, yes, sir. int m1 something brackets right yes, why sir. you are returning that what logic is uh, there behind it sometimes you write void yes sometimes you write int in sometimes you are writing string why why you return something return means giving right giving why i'll give this mouse to you because you'll have some use of it ha ah. correct na yes, if sir. someone wants to use some output of your method into his method then yes, he sir. will be taking value then right? it's compulsory that you should be returning it yes sir correct then we so uh, try to uh, uh, understand this thing rajendra means questions are not always yes no plus minus and like that okay yes, so questions will be discussion based also yes correct and that you are tackling very good i am not saying that you are not able to tackle okay so this is shevgao so how long it is from ahmednagar it is from 70 km 70 km from the nether oh oh so that is a new art and commerce as well engineering is also there no sir no okay. so many people are there from this college uh, in our institute okay you know that yes sir i am yeah great okay why do you use github github uh, use uh, actually used to manage the project what uh, manage it means the um, uh give the access of our project to any other uh, then uh, that you can do in google drive also yes sir right in google drive also you can keep the project na yes so why you are going for github see github is a storage right storage. google drive is also storage it's also storage and why github Sir, actually, sir, GitHub is built for developers. Actually, developers. where you can put your code and version history is maintained. Yes, sir. In Google Drive also version history is maintained, right? Revision yes. and all. But in GitHub, it shows conflict. Which line has a problem? Yes. Pull request, push request. That request yes. can be raised there. Yes. Team can be managed. Yes. Okay. It is more for program. Yeah. Yes. Uh, you can see revision. You can send code to others that you already said. Yes. Okay. Mm. From Google Drive also you can give. Mm. Correct. But you mm. cannot maintain how much uh, part of it should be visible to others. But in GitHub you can do that. Yes. It's a project management uh, tool. Okay. Version history conflicts can be resolved. Let's say you have five lines of code. I have five lines of code. So it get collides, right? Yes. Sir. In Google Drive it will replace. Mm. Yes. Sir. But here it will stop you from replacing. Mm -hmm. You understood what I'm saying? Yes, sir. See, you have one file. I have one file. Mm -hmm. You put it on Google Drive. Yes, I will put my file on the Google Drive. What is going to happen? It will replace. It replace. But in GitHub, what it will say? No, Rajendra has five lines. Ah. Kiran, you cannot put these five lines. Put it below so that yes. it will become ten lines. Yes, sir. Understood. That happens in the GitHub. Great. Okay. Then actually, your resume should have more stuff so that it is easy to ask questions for interview. Yes. Sir. Now I am getting jumbled. Like, what should I ask you? Correct. Yes. So you are giving me chance to ask anything. Correct. But yes. you would have wrote like exception, trade, trade something. Then I can see and it connects to me and I'll ask that question. It's really yes. easy for you also, right? Yes. Now you didn't write any core Java, so I can jump anywhere, yes. na? 
you're getting my point yes so you'll be improving that resume also because you have good knowledge so better to put that into the resume so that people will see it and they will tempt to ask you that questions yes yes you got my point let's say you would have wrote here exception word when i'm looking at your resume oh exception means psychologically i'll ask some questions on this exception yes sir now you didn't write anything i need to take interview for at least one hour so i can jump anywhere ma'am yes yes you are giving me chance to what to ask question on any topic and then you get caught yes. correct na that might be difficult right what why to use finally block so finally block uh, is uh, used to execute some uh, uh, logic uh, it's will uh, uh, execute uh, either the uh, cache block is execute or not uh, it is uh, used uh, with the try class try cache block okay so what is the use of it finally block so uh, actually sir finally block is executed when the uh, exception occur or not occur no problem yes sir no problem then uh, so compulsory it will execute right ha uh, compulsory is for the execute okay okay so coming to sql actually yes what do you do in sql so sql uh, is a structured query language uh, which is uh, used to performing operation on the database sql having this sub language is uh, like a ddl uh, dml dql and uh, they having the what is the difference between ddl and dml so ddl uh, uh, is the data definition language uh, which is uh, used to uh, operations on the database schema where is the dml is the data manipulation, manipulation language uh, which uh, is used okay why do you joins uh, so joins uh, in java is used to uh, uh, get some uh, common elements uh, with the tables uh, from two two or more tables so joins we need to go if multiple tables are there right ha uh, multiple tables what is foreign key so foreign key is the uh, key from the another key here uh, Uh, in another table, uh, with that key, uh, we can uh, with that key we can uh, uh, connect with the two table. What is unique key? So unique key in uh, table uh, it means a primary key, uh, which is uh, uniquely defined in that C, which is not uh, duplicate, is there and uh, which will not null. In table, which will be not null. Not so unique key and primary key are same. uh unique key and primary key is not same not same or same sir it will it same like okay. what is composite key so composite sir uh, i not aware of okay. no problem no problem uh like uh, what what is normalization in database normalization in uh, database I have studied it, but I am not able to remember. No, no problem. It is one nf, two nf. Hmm? Normalization forms are there, like having primary key means first form of normalization. Okay. Yes. Great. Then coming to HTML, you know. Yes, sir. HTML. How much you rate yourself in HTML? Sir, uh, it's around six. Six. I not know. JavaScript, how much you rate? It's also six. How to open new window in JavaScript? No, sir, I am not. Window dot open. Okay. Window dot open. So, what you are aware in JavaScript? Sir, like uh, JavaScript is a scripting language which is used to add the functionality on the web pages. Yeah, but anything, any function you remember, or anything, any code you remember in JavaScript. No, sir, I am not more practice of JavaScript, so I have learned more about the core Java. okay okay but this is also important okay yes, not only core java core java will not make you complete yes sir so i am okay. going to study of yeah uh, let's java say core java is pant yes <laughs> one java is shirt yes yes if you put a watch so that is java script yes right sir. if you put cap on your head then that will be html yes sir understood it's optional but if you put cap you will look good no problem so If you have flavors of every language, everything in the Java, then it will be a wonderful point, right? So prepare on everything you already prepared very well in the Java. 
so other technology also needed right uh, how to create list box in html yes sir uh, there is a uh, tag uh, eli tag uh, we use that that means a list right uh, that l i u l uh, okay and is there any input tag you know select tag you know uh, select tag that will create a drop box yeah, drop yes, down sir. okay mm -hmm. yeah so coming to jdbc yes sir good at jdbc yes sir i have so last that. questions yes sir connection is a class or interface sir connection is the interface connection is a interface okay great any other interface you know in jdbc sir is there a, a there is statement interface mm. prepare statement mm. result set mm. that's all that's all great what is execute query method execute query method mm. uh, i use it is method of prepare statement interface so which is used to uh, execute the query. query what's the return type of it uh, it uh, string no it's result set result set is result set correct now yes sir. what is different between while loop and for loop sir actually sir uh, while loop uh, sir uh, both loop are uh, used to iterate the uh, block multiple times uh, where the uh, for loop when we know the number of iteration when we use for loop uh, in case of while loop when we don't know about the int uh, how many iteration is there uh, will there then uh, we will use while loop so if you don't know iterations how many times you want to do uh, then, we then you will go for while loop. while loop yeah so by condition it will check automatically yes sir and in for loop uh, when we know uh, iteration we can use we for can do and we know if incrementing frequency and initialization then we go for for loop, for loop sir. you know for each loop yes sir for each loop what is difference between for loop and for each loop sir actually uh, for loop uh, is the iterate the block multiple times where is the for for uh, for each loop it is used to execute the array yeah, means uh, it is used to execute the print also for loop for each loop is uh, internal uses for each loop uh, for loop for each loop is internal use uh, for loop ordinary for loop ordinary so for which would be faster sir uh, for each loop is faster to develop or in performance uh, for the performance uh, there will be for each loop is faster no in performance ordinary for loop will be uh, faster because for each loop again converts into for loop and then it start working right yes and if you write direct that bigger for loop then it start directly working directly working. so which will be faster in the performance for loop which one ordinary one ordinary Older, one. right yeah. understood yes but to develop the code which will be faster for each loop for each. Mm -hmm. so you understand the thing yes, right yes. great when you use for each loop for each loop uh, we use uh, uh, to print the array what is generics in java so generics uh, in java is used to specify uh, which is a uh, use in collection to specify the uh, data type of the collection great why why to do that uh, sir uh, like suppose uh, we have the hash map interface, uh, interface and hash map uh, interface hash, hash map class and in that class we have the key like a, a name uh, like a name cannot be in the integer uh, then we can uh, uh, store a name in a, a string like and uh, then we use string generics there mm -hmm. okay yes. so people should not put anything right uh -huh. that's why you put generic yes, to sir. make type shape type shape great so in array list you can use generics yes, right sir in hash map you can use generics uh in hash map yes sir we can use can we put array list into hash map array list into hash map no sir can we put hash map into array list sir uh, that i don't yes but possible okay it will possible yeah sometimes this data structure is needed Okay, yes. so that's all possible. You can put anything inside anything. 
Yes. Okay. How you will remove duplicates from the error list? So, uh, in the error list, there is no matter. But we can uh, uh, we can do we can uh, find the duplicates in error list by passing the object in the hash set constructor. Constructor. Great. I think a good prepare. Is good, great, good hard work you are doing. Uh, how much time you study day in a day? So I studied about uh, four to five hours. Daily, 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 sir. And you are to 2024 pa batch pass out. 2024 batch pass out. You are a topper of your college? No, sir. <laughs> <laughs> no. Mm -hmm. So toppers are different. Toppers are different. You are not topper. Not in first year, second year, third year. Sir, uh, I was. Uh, in first year, I was like a in toppers list, but in second year, third year, I am not more focused on study because of some personal issues. Personal issues. Then third year also. Uh, in third year, uh, I am not more studied. You have not studied more. Uh, no more uh, that I want. You are looking at our YouTube interviews sometimes. Yes, sir. I uh, look your uh, watches your uh, YouTube interviews there. Yeah. And I prepared from there. Oh, you prepared from there also? There also. Right. So, do you think that is useful for people? Sir, it is very useful for the people. Okay. If people are uh, looking at it, watching the videos, right? Yes. Right. But there are many advantages, disadvantages of YouTube. Some people use it for good things. Some people use it for bad things. Mm. Some people use it for time pass. Yes. Sir. Okay. So, that's all your decision actually. How yes, you want sir. to use it. Okay. So, you are good at programming? Yes, sir. Pakka? Yes, sir. So, can I ask some questions in programming to you? Yes, sir. So let's open your laptop then. Okay, Rajendra. So, your Eclipse is open, right? Yes, sir. Yeah, I can see that. Now, I have some questions for you. Okay? Yes, sir. Just a second. Yeah. So, the question is, how, how you will close these projects? Can you close other projects and create new project? Yes, sir. I will create. And speak loudly, okay? Yeah. So create new project. May one project you are creating? No, sir, no, sir. Just cancel. New project. Right there, Java. No, no, sir. Hmm. So create a new project. Give test name. Okay, wait now. Wait. Wait, wait, wait. I'll be handling your screen, okay? Why this error, maybe? Sir, is uh, error due to we are not uh, created any package in that project. So, you mean to say package creation is always compulsory? Yes, sir. Okay. So, if I create package. Why still there is a problem? Uh, sir, we have created package in project uh, in uh, this file, not in project is there. Oh, so you mean to say you need to create project package over here? Yes, sir. Wait, I'm creating. Will it work now? Yes, sir, it will work. Okay. Yes, sir. Yeah. So, let me ask you a question. Oh, 
Okay. Now, in this statement, how many spaces are there? Can you calculate? Yes, sir. Okay, so can you write the code now? Yes, sir. Yeah, go ahead. Sir, sorry, sir. I am not able to remember that function. Two carrier, eh? Two carrier, yes, sir. Okay, run it. Sorry, it is working. Let's check six. six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Perfect. Okay. Yes, sir. Yeah, let me test now. Wait, wait. If I give space over here, then it should show seven, right? Check. Great. Okay. So can you convert this for loop into for each loop? Yes, sir. We can convert. Can you do that? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. It will work. Run it. Yes, sir. Run the program. Why? Uh, sir, it is index uh, 37 out of bound of length. 
ओके सर्वन वेर इज द प्रॉब्लम एक्चुअली सर हियर वी हैव टू लूप विच इज अप टू लेंथ ऑफ द स्ट्रिंग इन फॉर इज देर इज नो लिमिट ऑफ इट्रेशन लाइक दैट ओके What is the error actually? Can you see this error? Yes, sir. Twelfth line means where is the error? Here there is the error, not in the for loop. Yes, no, sir. Correct. Understood. Yes, sir. So what is the issue? See, this array has characters, right? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Correct. Yes, sir. I have to get it correct. Then I am going to run it. Then. Then. You have to compare with I, right? Yes. This I is a character, right? Yes. So you have to convert that, right? Yes. Understood. Mm -hmm. So. what you know is very perfect yes but interviewer can ask any changes in your code yes yes many a times that happens even in interview whenever you will face uh, interviews in future they will ask you to do some task in home yes. by taking help of your friends yes but in first round they will start asking questions on that program and they'll ask like this we'll ask it hmm Getting my point? Yes. So that's not a problem, but you have good logical skill. Just a little modification, you need to do that. Okay. Anyway, then next coming to any project you have done till now? Yes, sir. I have. Can I show you work? Uh, the Spring Boot project. Yes, sir. Okay. So this is a Spring Boot. Uh, backend of uh, employment in the system project which mm -hmm. i have created in that project uh, there are main class spring boot application and okay. there is also controller mm -hmm. okay so wait 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 what is this post mapping why to use so uh, actual post mapping uh, post mapping uh, is uh, used to get the data from database post mapping is used for getting a data from the database no it is to insert why uh, it is to insert the data and get mapping get data from the database get put mapping uh, update data from the database yes, okay great okay no problem so i think you have good logical skills so i'll ask you one more question okay yes sir Can we change this main method name? Yes, sir. We can change main. If I write here one, will it give error or not? Ah, uh, it will not give error. Ah, uh, no. Okay. Uh, If I remove this, then also the ah uh, will not give error, but uh, program will compile ah uh, properly. But ah uh, there is ah. Uh, but it will not run. It, it will not run. Okay. No problem. Are you able to see my screen now? Yes, sir. Uh, no. Okay. Ah, uh, yes. Sir. Are you able to see this whiteboard? Yes, sir. Okay. So I have some questions for you. Okay. Try to answer. Yes. Will it compile or not? Ah, uh, no, sir. It will not compile. Sorry. Sir, uh, private is to access port. It will compile or not? Uh, It will come by itself. No, what you said was correct. Okay, yeah. so don't get confused. Interviewer may make you confused. Okay, but yes. you don't need to. Yes. So will it compile or not? Sir, it will not compile. Okay. Why? Sir, private is access group. Uh, Class cannot be private. Okay. Class cannot be private.
will it compile or not uh, sir uh, it will not compile it will give error why for the uh, initialization initialization of the private uh, private area. will it no. compile or not sir it will uh, not compile will it compile or not yes sir it will compile will it compile or not sir it will not compile why uh, when we create a variable as a final then uh, it is uh, necessary to initialize it great you are correct will it compile or not uh, it will compile sir yeah because it is initialized from the constructor constructor now will it compile or not sir i think uh, it will compile okay will it compile or not sir uh, it will compile sir what ka yes sir okay will it compile or not wait 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 sir it will compile will compile uh no sir it will not compile uh, because sir uh you extended uh, ordinary class into what is the problem class. hmm what's the problem So actually, we extend the abstract class into another uh, ordinary class. So what is the problem? Okay. Will it compile or not? sir it will uh, compile okay yes sir will it compile or not no sir it will not compile because uh, b is a interface and uh, uh, we have to implement it will it compile or not oh this second hmm yes sir yes sir it will compile main method okay yes sir Will it compile or not? It will. It will compile. Sir. What ka? Yes, sir. No, loan method is protected. Okay, follow yes. the inheritance. Okay. Will it compile or not? there is class inside class so uh, it will be and there is a static class so uh, okay i am not able to answer it you have to go through okay yes will you study or not in home now 
you will right but you have good knowledge but these are the tricky questions at high level people will uh, get in the interviews okay yes sir so i'm asking you Will it compile or not? So uh, it will compile, but uh, at the time of the execution, it will do error. Can you be a little louder? Sir, it will compile, but at at the time of execution, it will give error. Why? Sir, we are not uh, ex uh, inheriting the class X in Prozac. Why do we inherit? Let me see. Because of hmm? okay, this is Eclipse, right? Okay. So I'm just writing a program. That program. Okay. What we did, we created one class, right? Yes. Correct? Yes. Then in another class, what we did? Main method, correct or not? Yes. Then I asked you, we should write main method, right? Yes. Then what we did? Private. Private. Is giving error or not? It is giving error. Sir. Why? Sir, uh, because local variables cannot be private. Understood? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Is it error now? No, no. sir. Why? Because it is a global. global variable. Understood? Yes, sir. So, like these questions also, into my task. So, yes, that was sir. a rapid fire round which we did. Okay. But uh, you are handling things very properly. Uh, just a second. Okay, that's all from the programming. Okay, so you can just switch off your laptop. Okay, Rajendra. So a lot of questions I have asked you. Hope yes, you are sir. enjoying it. Yes. Okay. Sir. Uh, what's the use of Hibernate? Sir, uh, it's the Hibernate is the uh, object-oriented mapping technology, which is uh, used to. Uh, Connect to the database over the JDBC. In JDBC, we have to write a query is there and uh, like that in Hibernate, we don't need uh, to write a query. Uh, we have the methods for that. Great, great, great. Okay, so that's all from my side and a lot of feedback also I have. I wrote it on paper, so I'll be obviously passing that to you. Yes. Uh, any questions you have? Anything you want to ask? Like, Sir, I have one question that... Uh, I know much things, but uh, I'm not able to represent it properly. Sir. Yeah. yeah, see, uh, Rajendra, what happens now? You have different background. Yes. You might have learned in Marathi medium, maybe earlier till fourth standard, maybe. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Or sixth standard. Fourth standard. Fourth standard. Then maybe in English medium classes, right? Yes. But you never might not have got opportunity to represent yourself in front of many audiences. Yes, sir. Or you never tried. To communicate in English, yes, sir. Before to this BBA, yes, or maybe sir. in BBA also your faculties might also be talking Marathi or Hindi, maybe generally, right? Yes. So that was a time where we should have improved, yes. but nothing left. Nothing is late actually. What you do now? Try to talk as much as possible. Like see, today you talk with me. Yes, this for one hour, right? Yes. So at least you built up some confidence. Yes, yes. You might be feeling now, oh, yeah, I talk too much. But that was not of much uh, expert level. But you talked. Yes, yes. At least some improvement you got out of it. So now when you go home, try to talk with your friends. Yes. Sir. But if it, that is not possible, don't rely on your friends. Don't be fully dependent on your friends. 
Yes, sir. What you need to do is in your home, talk with yourself in English as much as you talk. Yes. Record it in your phone and listen it. Yes. You will understand your own problems. Understanding your own problems, accepting, the, accepting them and working on that, it is very important. Mm. Do you ever record what you talk? No, sir. I have Today, what you will be doing? Open up your mobile. Yes. Click on the voice recorder yes. and you just talk about inheritance. Stop the recording and hear by yourself. You will be able to find your problems. Do this repeatedly. Don't think like your friends will improve your uh, condition. Yes or no? Yes. Because friends have their own different mindset. They might be busy with something else. Yes, yes. They are not here to improve your communication. You need to work yourself on the communication. Yes. Right? So that helps you to represent things. Yes. Otherwise, I see it's good. Only the communication matters. Uh, only the communication matters here in the discussion. So you need to improve on that. Obviously, and I hope you will be improving. So you got this uh, tip right now. You understood this tip? Yes, yes. I am. Trick. Okay. So you will be doing it, right? Yes. Sir. Any other you feel like you need to ask? No, sir. Great. So, my feedback would be like, uh, in project, you should be understanding your roles and responsibilities because these days people, uh, companies are hiring on the basis of your technical skills, basically. Communication matters, but skills also matter. So, they want to see your project. Yes, yes. Many jobs are now converted from full-time to internship. Yes. Understood? So, nobody is hiring people with the full-time job. Internship, you need to showcase yourself for six months in the industry. Understood? Yes. You need to prove yourself. So, you should be adding some rules and responsibility in your resume. Then, maybe many skills of JavaScript, uh, JavaScript or maybe core Java, you need to insert here. Okay, so that I, we can ask. Spelling mistakes you should not do. That yes. I already told, right? I see some are there. Uh, one project you wrote, but try to write two, three more projects. Yes, sir. Correct. That will be enhance your resume. Yes. If you got good percentage, you definitely should write. And I see, wow, eighty-eight percent you got. Ah, yes. But in ten, twelve, you got same percentage. Yes, sir. BBL, yes. so you got same percentage then? No, he's also there. Same. About eighty. Ah, uh, no, sir. It's about seventy-two. But still, you should write. More yes, than sir. sixty is good to write. Yes. Sir. Don't worry. You can write that. Mm -hmm. Okay. So. In your college, how many companies came this year? Sir, uh, no companies. Companies don't come there? No. Oh, okay. So, everybody is going out preparing by themselves. And themselves. Okay. So, Rajendra, uh, I hope you understood. You got my feedback. Okay. Yes, you really like this interview or not? Yes, sir. I really like it. Patka? Yes, sir. Any feedback? Or it's all good? It's all good. Okay, so thank you Rajendra and nice talking to you uh, through all these technologies and everything. And so for audiences, uh, this was Rajendra from Ahmednagar, Shevgao, right? Yes. So he has not done any training at any place just to highlight this thing. Still he prepared by himself, self-study. And you can imagine how many answers he has given. It's wonderful, fantastic. I don't see such people many a times. I will not say I don't see, but not many a times. So guys, what he has answered, don't go without those answers, I would suggest. You prepare by yourself, you study by yourself, whatever you are getting training in, in any of the institute. Now many institutes are preparing these videos and many people from other institutes also joining our institute for uh, understanding training because this is what the real time training. You must understand what interviewer will be asking real time in industry so that you need to prepare but again as uh, in every interview i'm saying don't judge rajendra that's my duty to judge you not audiences they should be practicing by seeing this interview right yes, yes. and show your courage to come in front of uh, me on youtube fill the form which is given in the inter this description of this video thank you see you bye bye thank you